Okay, and we're back from the break with more A Song at Tara. So, Yay. where are we at? What are we doing? Well, you are currently walking oh. down the street, and uh, Fena has pulled out her cell phone and is, as far as I understood, calling Cat. Yes. Yes. Um, cat no picky uppy. No service. You get told there, no service. Hmm. I guess. She might be in the umbra. Yeah, she probably is. Well, guess we'll talk to her when the moment is right. Yeah. What? So, I should. Taryn takes out her own phone and looks at that. Hmm? Does that say no service too? No, it's, it's, um, she gets, when she calls Cat, she gets told that the, um, the person you were trying to reach. Okay. Yeah, blah, okay. blah, blah. Because the way you said it, said as if no, oh, okay. no service on the phone, and that made no sense because we're in the middle of the city. <laughs> well, it is in Ireland, so. <laughs> <I'm> a, okay. <laughs> that's, that's not entirely fair on the Irish, but yeah, sure. It um, might be more fair on the, on the English because, of course, what was that QI fact that the in 2015, 2014, the moon got better internet coverage than rural England did? <laughs> yeah. That's uh, bad. That's seriously bad. But anyway. Fina needs her internet. Otherwise, she can't see all the cat memes. No. <laughs> Alright, so the bus isn't picking up. Yeah, what do you guys want to do? We got an unknowable amount of hours to burn. Um, hang out at a random corner and scare people. That would be no. fun. That sounds yeah. fun. Shouldn't Not we a... focus on our task? Well, what do you want to do? Well, we did get um, permission from the queen to question all of her subjects. I guess they they were sworn to help us so long as we didn't use, misuse that power. That's a good point. We could go huh. around see like okay, I don't know where we would find them, but if we can find some fae, maybe in the Umbra, we could ask them. We could also, I guess, we could also go hunting for banes. See if any of them know uh, knows of a location of any black spiral dancers in Dublin, hmm, if and would like to trade that information for its continued existence. I guess, this, yeah. This is where Fenna makes a point that nobody but her and Connell will understand. But points to Connell and says, I go hunting for Faye when we have a Faye right here. <laughs> what? I don't get I don't get it. What's the joke? <laughs> Faye. Uh, Faye is Danish for fool. Stop dissing the king. <laughs> Oh, he can take it. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. <laughs> he, he can take it. Point. He has tough skin. He's so. Mm-hmm. Aaron squints at the face. The blood wolf. Oh, I'm Tunnel's the king. Says, yeah, not not tough enough. <laughs> <laughs> That's, yes. Oh, now I get it. You're a right bastard, Aaron. <laughs> I, I've heard that. I have yet to hear it accorded any merit. I think, um, and out of character, Joan, we know of the stuff in the journals by now, right? Yes, you do. Um, I think there's a uh, a fae who's known for being quite nice uh, nearby. How nearby? Um, I'm, of course, talking of Jocelyn, but I don't actually remember how nearby she is. Uh, It's something like six stops on the Lewis, so it's not that far. Um, Shiva tells that. Cool, let's do it. Yep, and you are by the green, which means that hopping on the, the lures in question is, well, just a matter of getting in line. Mm-hmm. And there's a lures arriving betwe- every, between every five and three minutes, so it's not exactly mm-hmm. as if you have to va- wait very long. I get the distinct impression that not only will the line suddenly get a lot shorter when we turn up, because people will find other decide they want to find another means of transportation, but our yeah. particular carriage or whatever you want to call it will be very thinly populated. Very. It's like that. Uh, it's like that Frankie Boyle joke, right? Like mm. the the book of Christian prayer you can say to get yourself through the day, but he always finds that if he prays loud enough to Allah, he gets a carriage for himself. 
<laughs> that's not. I shouldn't laugh, but no. That that's uh, in, that's actually okay. Uh, for the benefit of the uh, of the average listener, Daniel can make such a joke since he is strictly speaking and in the strictest sense of the word a Muslim in bad standing. <laughs> I would also li- like to add that I could also make that joke if I weren't. Yes. <laughs> Come at me, Tumblr. I'm ripped. Oh, uh, and like, and, and, and now we're going to get very popular, but for entirely the wrong reason. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you. All right. So, I'm going to start on something good because I just had some major hiccups and switch to my phone. You just got you missed out on a good yeah, joke. Yeah, I, I, I didn't hear what it was. Well, it it, it can't really be recreated, but we no. were making a, a Tumblr related joke. I'll I'll advise you to go and listen to the second hour of this tomorrow when it get uploaded. Yeah, yes. I can't as much. Anyway, guys, um, yeah, uh, you get on the Lewis. I, I seem to still be experiencing some hiccups, so there might be some issues. Okay, it'll okay. the work. We'll try our best to see if you're if you're with us when when you are trying to pitch in. Yes. Uh, you are heading down to um, Rathmines and Ranala. Yeah. Uh, Can we locate the Fey in question? Quite easily. Uh, she has a um, a uh, small. Uh, I, I can't remember how it was exactly I put it, but I'm going to look it up here because she has a. Um, a pastry, cookies, coffee, tea, goodies, candy, delicatessen, Americana pie shop. Yeah, <laughs> okay. That, make, that makes it easier. Yes, it does. We've met her before, haven't we? Uh, no, you haven't actually... Well, it might have been off-screen in that case, but you haven't actually gone there at some point yet. So. Oh, yeah, so, not that we've gone there, but have, haven't we seen her at least? Uh, I would imagine that most of you have at least been by no, that. but I, I mean... Oh, you mean in, in the, character? No, no, you haven't. Hmm. She hasn't. She wasn't at the court. Or if she was, she was among the many invisible uh, muttering voices. Yes, okay. that, yes. But you she didn't... was um, early on. She was suggested as the first fae we met because she's very agreeable. Yes, but we never did. Well, I guess we. I mean, she's she's running the shop usually, right? Yes, she is. Okay, yes. Just when you walk right. in as if I'm a customer. Yes, and when you arrive at the customer or at the at the shop, uh, um, it is not exactly uh, it's it's not large, but it's large enough that there is uh, uh, there is of course a, a counter and uh, quite a lot of shelves behind the counter and along the walls where you know all the various stuff that she uh, she sells uh, is, is displayed. There are also five or six tables where people can sit down and have a, a cup of coffee or tea or whatever with a pastry or some such and behind the counter is a uh, a very b- a friendly looking woman um this woman to be exact hmm. good morning uh, yeah well morning good morning dears morning how may i help you she will look to the coffee menu Aaron looks to Shiwa. Just, are, are you gonna, maybe? Shiwa nods to him. Um, well, is there anyone else in here? Uh, a couple of people, yeah. We were hoping we could potentially talk to you more privately. Oh, oh but. Oh, she during, has no idea during, who we are, does she? During business hours? Dear, that's gonna be. Terribly difficult, but I'm happy How to about help. Um, if I may suggest, perhaps we could enjoy some pastries and some beverages and have a nice chat then? That would be lovely. Um, Which would you like? Um, I'd like a, a slice of apple pie and a coffee americana, please. I'm partial to dark chocolate. Definitely, and the rest of you? Triple chocolate and chocolate chip cookie. Ooh, very good choice. Very good choice. Do you have beer? No, we have nothing alcoholic, I'm afraid. Mm. There might be some root beer over in the fridge over there. The king doesn't drink root beer. 
<laughs> oh. Very good, Your Majesty. <laughs> oh, I apologize for even suggesting it. Good. <laughs> now kiss my shoe. <laughs> okay. I, I will. I will just as soon as I've broken mine off in your ass. <laughs> now, now, now. Now, now, kids. Not in my shop. Not in my shop. As I was about to say, keep it civil. Come on. <laughs> oh, Taliesin is actually is doing his best not to twitch because he can't swear <laughs> in in here, and he's trying to suppress the urge. <laughs> she looks. Tell you, look, tell you, look at his face. It's the face of someone who keeps it civil. I think. Um, I think like uh, Aaron just basically starts moving around the shop. Um, He's not overtly doing anything harmful, but it, like he's just basically hurting the dreamers out of the shop. <laughs> yes. Well, the so dreamers... he's a hurt dog now. Hurt. Yes. The, the 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 dreamers, at least for the most part, seem to want to to get out. Just let me make a roll here. One person decides to to just stay. <laughs> in spite um... of all the very uh, intimidating people who just came in. Mm. Well. The entry also says that everyone leaves her shop much happier, so I'm guessing there might be something counterintuitive in here. Um, she would gesture towards oh. I, somewhere we can sit. Yes. Wow. She looks at the ones who haven't placed an order yet and, and says, uh, the, uh, if I do say so myself, the pecan pie and the cheesecake today, they're fantastic. Hello. I am. Yes, we hear you. Hello. Fuck my Skype. No. No, I'd, I'd rather not. Uh, uh, spoken like a true glass walker. Um, I say, I would, I would. Hey, I know. Something about a glass walker. Yep. Yes. yes. <laughs> like a true glass walker. Yes, I would. I, I would fuck your Skype, but I don't want to get uh, a sexually transmitted infection from it. Se sexually transmitted virus. That that yeah, basically. <laughs> ha ha ha. Hey, 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 hey. NSTV. So, um, something like that. But yes, um, Taliesin will order a pecan pie and the strongest coffee that she can provide. Ooh. Yeah, you get a double shot of espresso. Oh, very nice. <laughs> and he. Uh, Aya. No, Chris was speaking, but apparently there's some kind of delay in everything I do right now. Right. Well, let's yeah. let's have you speaking then. Chris is basically Tally has ordered stuff. So what what's um, what's Taryn doing? Taryn. Yes. <laughs> Taryn cuts out. Okay. May I suggest doing a redial? Uh, you may. I get this. I mean, there's nothing wrong with the connection. I am assuming it's, okay. it's local. Okay, fair enough. Hi, AJ. Welcome back. Can you hear us? Yeah. Wonderful. Hi. Hi. You were saying something about Terran, and then we didn't hear anything else. Why do you keep telling us to fuck different things? If you're first your Skype, now you're live. Because what? I'm really living into being a very angry glass walker. Yes. Senses being made. Right now, you all see the werewolf looking out of his window and the PC completely destroyed behind him. Yes. Uh, that said, though, what does Terran do? She orders uh, chocolate pie and... Okay. Yes. Well, she um, uh, gestures towards uh, a couple of tables. I mean, you're obviously you're slightly more than the four people who can normally sit around a table. So mm -hmm. she says, oh... If you put those two together, dears, then I'll go and get the orders. And uh, and she shuffles off into the um, into the back and comes around maybe five minutes later with a tray full of of uh, coffee and chocolate and cake and pie and yeah, the whole nine yards. Now that Connell is the king, Aaron, could you join the two tables together? She smiles widely at him. <laughs> Why, absolutely. Done. 
And yes. I think Aaron, basically, he, he expects she were to cover this because she's been, you know, in charge of talking to the Fae so far. So instead, he keeps an eye on the woman who didn't leave, um, or the person who didn't leave, until they do. Basically, anyone he can't hurt out with his mere presence, he kind of, he implicitly suspects. Yes. Well, there's only that one person left. There's a, a, a young man um, sitting at a uh, at, at one of the tables at the end of the um, uh, what's it called? The end of the the, the room. He's got a, a a huge bucket full of coffee on the table in front of him. I think that's the best way to describe it. Mm-hmm. Um, and he's got a, a what's it called? A bagel with um, cream cheese and and ham. And he's he's quite a, a good-looking, roguish kind of fellow to to look at, actually. And he he just sends a smile back when you guys look in his direction. Yeah, I think Aaron just impolitely stares at him throughout the conversation, mm-hmm. <laughs> just leaning back on his chair and looking at him. He well, finger waves at, at at Aaron at one point. I hope not him. <laughs> well, well, Aaron. When, um, sorry, congrats. Congratulations, Aaron. I guess you can't really be a shadow lord without someone to cast the shadow. And now you have a king. Good morning, everyone. Yes. Did you say something, AJ? When Taran looks in his direction and he just waves at her, she does the same with a Hello. Kind of look at her face. He winks at at um, he winks at, at Taryn, and and then she guy. goes back to full concentration on the chocolate pie. Yeah, what's with he this does. guy? Oh, that guy, a known patron of yours? I, I don't think just we haven't introduced ourselves anything yet. No, no, no. That uh, guy, a known patron of yours? Yeah, yeah. He comes here quite often. Okay. Yeah. Um. We're terribly sorry to disturb you during uh, business hours. Um, I'm Sheila Nibreen, and she were had, you know. Oh, her. oh, I heard of you. I am so pleased to meet you. I'm uh, pleased to meet you too. Um, this would be um, Aaron and Connell and Finna and Taryn. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> if looks could kill. <laughs> <laughs> the king, if you please. She means to say King Connell the badass. Thank you. <laughs> and as you can hear, the boys are playing a little game right now. Aren't, uh, they, aren't they always, dear? Aren't and t- they? Tarius t- t- raises his hand and just says, I refuse to take part in this supposed game <gasps> you call. I'm. I. No. You can't but, defy genetics. Shut up. But why not? She says. We must never forget how to play, no matter how old we get. See? Mm. True. I like her. Mm. Yep. (laughs) The moment we forget to play, the moment we forget our imaginations, that would be a terrible thing. Mm. She gets it. Yeah. Um, I think she was smiles like a half-hearted smile and says, Yeah, Uh, I guess I've just had a terrible night. Oh, I am terribly sorry to hear that, dear. What can I do for you? Can I help in any way? Well, we're hoping you can. Um, I don't know if... Uh, you know, she gives her the confidential look. And if you're up to date with the recent happenings. Uh, I can't say that I am. Uh, just give me a second, she says. And then she heads to the uh, to the door... Uh, closes it and puts up the uh, um, uh, closed sign in the um, uh, in the uh, in the window, and uh, and she returns uh, to where you're sitting and she looks towards the guy in the corner and and says, um, uh, "Aura, you know the way back, you know the way out back when you're done with your coffee." He just smiles and uh, blows her a kiss and says, "Oh, of." Of course I do. Of course I do. But why would I want to leave such august company? I mean, look at them. I sense sarcasm. I sense muchly sarcasm. I, I sense sarcasm too. 
I, I, I'm not sure I like it. Uh, she will looks at him and says, Oh, I'm terribly sorry. I don't think we've been introduced. I don't think we've been intro, and then you cut out. Uh, introduced? Yes. Uh, I'm Shilani Breen. Um, he, he smiles a, a, a distinctly, uh, rokish, if not rakish grin <laughs> in your direction, winks at you, and, and goes, and goes, that's a very lovely name for a very, very lovely woman. And my name is Oro Flynn. Oh, goodness me. <laughs> oh, goodness Aaron, me. Aaron just kind of scratches his brow and, and am, looks at the guy. <laughs> and I am very pleased to meet you. Um... He manages to make those few words sound like sex, 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 sex. Mm. Taliesin um, looks over and raises an eyebrow and just says, Thank you for the compliments. And so, I... I, I... No, sorry. That's right. May I say, I, I must appreciate a man who can wear, can wear his hair so wild in such a wonderful way. I assume that we know... Well, when we hear his name, is that he is a thing? Uh, well, assuming we know of the entries, then I guess. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yes, you do. Yes, you also you heard have, of him. You also have to respect someone who dares venture outdoors looking like that. Mm. Wouldn't have put it quite like that. Either, well, but... he is wearing a t-shirt at least. Mm. <laughs> Otherwise, and pants. Perfect, yes, he would be a perfect target for one of her glitter bombs if you weren't. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hair, no shirt. That's a Jacob. <laughs> um, we could also just have him join the conversation at our table. Yeah, I was um, I was just about to ask, would you like to join us? Oh, I'd like nothing better. And That's... she will look, you know, to Jocelyn just if she minds. Oh, no, no, not at all. She she uh, uh, looks over at, at the man and says, but I do think you're going to have to bring your own chair. Just, mm-hmm. you, 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 you know, quite a lot of people. Maybe so, we'll she says and looks back to all of you. Yeah. What can I do for you? Taryn scoots to the side so there's room for him at the tables. He uh, sits down, he slides into, uh, into place. He manages to make absolutely everything. He does look like sex, 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 sex. Um, the second Taryn sees that as he slides in next to her, she's like, oh fuck, what did I do? <laughs> Aaron's just mentally oh, preparing t- to punch this guy through the floorboards. Check the chat for what Finn is thinking. <laughs> 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 um, <laughs> when, when, Does I, he say um, anything though? <laughs> I think it would be easier if I uh, gave you the same question then, she says in terms to the man. Have you been informed of recent happenings? Oh, I can't say I have. I've been so very, very, very busy. But please, please do inform me. I would love to hear it from you guys. Well, unfortunately, we have experienced a loss recently. Um, Ord, as you might know, has died. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Uh, uh, Jocelyn looks, looks absolutely astonished. Even Aura looks like he's taken slightly aback. Um, which, as you could probably imagine, constitutes to my bad mood. Uh, certainly, I'm, oh, 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 goodness. Oh, I am so sorry for your loss. Um, I'm, I'm, he was a very dear friend and a very good man. I'm, I'm really, oh my, oh my, uh, has everybody been informed? Uh, Do you need me to facilitate contact? Uh, I, I don't think that will be necessary. Um, in fact, we were lucky enough, uh, to receive an audience with your (gasps) Banrin. Oh, she is quite something, isn't she? She's a very, very impressive woman. She will not. 
Aura <laughs> waggles his time. eyebrows. <laughs> Telius in response is saying, it was certainly impressive the way she didn't kill those among us who sadly didn't feel it necessary to show respect to a queen. Uh, she is... She is in a forgiving mood this time of year, Jocelyn says. It's, but just, it would probably be wise to be deferential when winter arrives. Just, uh, I, I just want to add that because obviously she's a powerful creature. Yeah, well, yeah. I w- it, one can only hope that our wisdom will one day be collective rather than individual. <laughs> well put. Aura says, well put indeed. Maybe get on with it. (laughs) In any case, um, it's recent happenings are actually even more unfortunate, or did not pass by natural means. Um, I see. And we have been sent to investigate. So, if not by natural means, then how? I I dread to ask, but... Our current lead suspect uh, suspect, uh, would be the Black Spiral Dancers. Um, Another of our was present when we arrived. Uh, However, he also passed shortly after. I see. I I know preciously little of of these creatures that you you speak of, but I, I certainly assume from what you're saying that they are bad news. The um, if I if I may, Shiva. Uh, I'm sure you'll describe it better than I. <sighs> Without, I, I don't know how much we're if we're allowed to tell you if we're not allowed to say anything. But essentially, the Black Spiral Dancers are members of our species of the Guru. Who? How can I put this? Joined the enemy. They are in league with the Worm. They used which... to be Garu. Now they are less. Yeah, yes, that is that is a it is a sad thing when people give themselves over to evil. And uh, but but if these creatures killed Odd, then certainly I am I am relieved that that someone is already looking for 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 answers and and for hopefully for, for retribution of some sort. The the uh, I mean, as I said, he was a very dear friend. But if there is anything I can do to help, and I'm sure anything Aura can do to help, she says and sends him a rather pointed look, and Aura stretches a little bit and leans a little back in his in his chair and says, Oh, oh yes, I'll be very, very happy to comfort anyone who's grieving. To which Well <sighs> Yeah, go on, Chris. No, sorry, you you're you're gonna you're gonna talk seriously, so I'd rather you get out of the way first. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just before you speak because you're definitely like you pick up and you speak. Aaron doesn't say anything, but I just wanted to add that Aaron's mood is starting to sour in the presence of this Cathane because he's <laughs> made, he's being very sexy when we're talking about our dead comrades. So yeah, slowly like starting to to maybe pick up on I'm I'm about to end you vibe from Aaron. Just like very slowly, just mm-hmm. um, well. Your Banrin was gracious enough to promise us um, that we could, well, if you would, um, I don't know if you know anything, but perhaps keep an eye out. Absolutely. If if I see or hear anything, I shall make. Uh, I, I will make sure to to let you know. But how can I reach you, or or will you come by here regularly, and and uh, I can. Let you know if I've heard or seen anything. Um, well, this this place is nice enough that I would like to come by regularly. Oh, oh. thank you. <laughs> but perhaps a phone number would be smarter, just in well, case I. Uh, yes, certainly. In case I do see or hear anything that needs to be reacted upon swiftly, then probably that that is probably the best idea. Besides, we we don't want to disrupt too much of your uh, of your. Uh, we don't want to disrupt your 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 custom here too much. As Talies and so eloquently put, <laughs> would you wouldn't happen to any of you have heard any mutterings of any changes in the spirit world? Just any change in the last uh, 
No, uh, uh, she's, she says and, and thinks long and hard, and then Aura uh, shakes his head and says, well, I don't know if you know, he says, but we don't actually do spirit things. We do dreams. Maybe the dreams have been decidedly more unpleasant in a certain area. Uh, they have been darker in Dublin, certainly. He says there's no question of that. The dreams of Dublin have taken a downward turn. There's no question. I've... I have noticed this. I'm sure you have as well. Uh, Jocelyn, Jocelyn nods. She doesn't look very happy about it, but she nods and says, well, yes, but I, I was kind of, I was hoping it was just a temporary thing that it was, you know, I don't know. It might have been the, it might have been because of the whole water charge thing that the government imposed. What do I know? Something that made the Irish upset. They are such a, a, a well, you are such a, um, an emotional people, and frankly, I think that's a very positive thing. I wouldn't worry too much, dear lady. If the cause of these downturns in the dreams are uh, linked to the people we are looking for, uh, any help you can provide will most assuredly cause those negative uh, feelings to change rather rapidly. Good. Well, I, I'm, I would be happy to help. Um, much appreciated. In any way I can. I can... Um, I can keep an eye to the ground or an ear to the ground and an eye on the uh, on on what happens on the street. I'm I I do see she says and smiles a sort of knowing little smile. I do see a lot of different people here. Yeah. Hmm. There's um should we uh, as Tally turns to Shiva, are we going to name names in this investigation or shall we leave? is that um, that might be idea, an idea. Two, uh, two seconds. She writes her um, phone number down. Yes. On, I don't know, a napkin. And hands yeah, it sure. to Jocelyn. And then she does it again. Gives it to Aura with a look. And says, remember, I can be a real bitch. Oh, 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 please, please. Lady, you wound me. At this point, Taliesin puts her hand over his face and just says, Don't take this the wrong way, sir, but you are far too arousing for your own good. <laughs> oh, I take that as a compliment. I knew are you, you going to hand me? Are you going to hand me your phone number as well? Thank you. Uh, and we're done here. <laughs> <laughs> and at this point, it's quite obvious for the poor involved that Terence brain just said, Bing! And a new story is forming in her head. So, firstly, Tally turns to Aaron and is like, if you want to wait outside, by all means. I don't want want you to be uncomfortable. No, I legitimately think we're done here. Or does anyone else have anything else they want to ask? uh, We might have. I'm just going to uh, roll uh, some stuff plus dexterity and anyone who um, can beat that will notice... uh, that what? Vina slips him very, <laughs> very discreetly her number. <laughs> I'm going to roll for Connell. Oh, sniff him at the same time then. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. So what is that? Is that perception plus alertness? And, uh, yeah, yeah, what was it? Yes. Difficulty four. Uh, not difficulty four, difficulty six, but obstacle four. Yes. What did Rasmus say? And sniff him he, at the same yeah. time. Oh. I'll just I, I roll guess for I'll... Connell. Where I'm is he? All the time. Where is he? Um, and what's the uh, difficulty? Oh, I no, see. Shiva, Shiva doesn't see anything. Shiva is way, way too busy with uh, with her her pie and coffee. So, yeah, you roll perception plus alertness in case you want to see this thing about Fena, and it's the difficulty of six. Yeah, and you need to get, um, you need to get four. Five successes. Hold oh, shit. <laughs> you go. Awesome. Connell actually notices you start doing so. Fucking hell. For some reason, mine won't roll anything. Screen shared with me. Let me see what you're doing. Won't that record her screen? Nope. He set it up so it only recalls the one window. That's correct. Oh, okay. 
I'm not seeing anything, Adrian. That's because I'm not doing anything. Oh, why aren't you screen share? Use the, use the dice roller, if nothing else. Yeah, just roll X number. There! There we go. Wonderful. I get 8, 9, 10, 10. <laughs> yes, we have two people getting four successes. Um, or, or more. So two people notice that she slips the, um, a little piece of paper across to the rather, um, uh, the, the rather sensual young man. I imagine Taryn, about to take a bite of her pie, looks down just as she and does I, it, it goes past his back pepper. <laughs> makes it positively clear that she saw it, but isn't saying anything, but she has some kind of sparkle in her eye and she can't stop smiling. <laughs> Colonel smiles a crooked smile and asks, What you doing there, Fenna? <laughs> Oh, you bastard. Rat. Oh, Rat. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. You know she has that issue. She thinks things. She can't help it, Connell. Aura, Aura smiles and says, she's simply making sure that in case I can't get through to one of you, I can get through to two different ones. Sure she is, a stud. Are we done here? Yeah. Uh, no, we still had some names we might... Uh, Aaron, Aaron, like, sends sends you a a patient and smiling face with eyes that says, "Well, then go on with it." Aaron, want to go brawl in the streets? Nah, I'm fine. Yeah. By all means, if you need to get some unresolved tension out of the way, um, fine by me. Now we did hear, um, well, as you said, you don't do spirits, but apparently. Spirits don't mind us, so we were told by uh, a weird, creepy-looking spirit. If, mm-hmm. The last uh, and the first. Yeah, what was that name again, Taran? The last and the first. The last. Oh, no, the name they mentioned. It was a Kenneth McAlpin. Yeah, that one. Oh, that 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 name rings a bell. That name rings a bell. Yeah. Um. Th- there's there was a um. Well, you see, it's it's a bit f- through circumspect uh, means. I, I haven't met the young lady in question myself, but there was a um. There was a person who came here a few days ago, and and um. Who who mentioned someone named McAlpin, but it wasn't a man. It was a it was a young woman. Could you describe apparently. her to us? Um well well the person who mentioned was a man, but he was talking on the phone to someone about someone called Winda McAlpin. So I I I I've heard the last name before but but Wyndham? Winda. Could you Wyndham? describe the man in that case? It certainly he was a uh he was a fairly average looking looking man he was uh he was uh tall but but not particularly good looking not particularly ugly not not he was he had a caucasian, bit of a african uh, yes Hispanic. he was he was yes he was he was uh, he was a caucasian he didn't sound irish he sounded scottish no i th- well maybe from the north of england somewhere but yeah, he, he spoke not with an Irish accent. I've known those long enough now to know that what they sound like. Th- that wasn't it. Uh, and he, he was, um, he, he sounded like he had a bad throat infection. Like, like, um, he, he was, he was wheezing a lot when he spoke. So I, I, obviously I offered him something hot to drink. Um, how, how good are you with a sketch? Like, is that your forte? Uh, oh yes, yes, yes. I'm good with with. Oh, I I'm good with with any kind of crafts. That sounds really impressive. Could you perhaps draw us a, a, a your impression of this person? I I would be happy to. Give me a moment. Thank you very much. Uh, um, yes. Yeah. As she leaves, guys, uh, weren't we told to look out for someone named Winda McAlpin? I'm not sure, but it sounds like. I mean, if if his quote unquote daughter wants him dead, who who is to say that Winda isn't that? 
Mm. Um, and again, assuming we know what's in the journals. Yes. Well, I wasn't there something about the spirits in the window, um, who also spoke in a weird tongue. There might have been. What do you remember? Yeah. Aaron oh. kind of l- looks between um, between Tally, Shiwa, and Taryn, relying on them to be the ones who know this. Um, Shiwa sits down and thinks, because while I can read this, you'll have to remember it. Well, there is this girl. Um, she speaks a very strange. Language and all the ghosts like her. That's right, yes. I remember they mentioned the unquiet dead. They they seem to protect her. Mm. Even Dark Egg Kelly likes her. Now that, that, that does say something, doesn't it? That's a good point. Well, go on. Storyteller, at, um, and I know that this is... In, in yes. our downtime sure. between sessions, have we yes. met any other spirits like Darky Kelly? You've never met Starkey, but you've certainly heard of her. Uh, mm. You've never had the misfortune of coming across her yourself. That's good. Um, which is likely the reason why you're still there. Uh, <laughs> that said, uh, while you are talking like this, um, you see Aura taking out a cell phone and writing a text message. Putting it away and smiling to himself, like, "Hey, I just did good." <laughs> Call it, calling in the reinforcements. You could say that. Oh, I can't, you know what? I wish I wasn't as paranoid as I was sometimes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna trust you, even though I, even though there's some part of me saying I shouldn't. I feel inclined to trust you. He Please. sends you a smile so smoldering it basically burns through your soul. Oh. I um I think she will looks kind of tutelliesen, but she keeps her eyes at um, Aura. Yes. As she says, well, don't worry, Tellyesen. Um, Queen Maren promised us they would help us. I'm sure he wouldn't go against uh, the wishes of his queen. Of course I wouldn't. I wouldn't dream of it. Tell- Tally's got his mouth open, as if trying to work out what to say, and then he just says... Oh, I can't talk like this while I'm questioning my sexuality. I need to. <laughs> and he gets up and gets up and goes outside and have a smoke. <laughs> yeah, I think he will look bad. Spoon at that point and just looks after him. I think Aaron gives uh, gives Connell a nod as if to kind of like tag him in and saying like you you take care of the guys in here and then he goes out and stands with Tally. Did Aaron ask Finna, to question his sexuality? Probably just not. Finna also looks after Telly, and then she's just very, you know, quietly says, gay. <laughs> <There's>... <laughs> you, you good, man? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine, I'm fine. That fucking asshole. Ah, oh, she's alright. <laughs> he's, he's more than most people have done. You could handle, I suppose, but he's... I don't think he's bad. I just think he's... He, he is. He needs to try to pick up fewer tra- uh, fewer chicks while we're talking about our dead allies. Yeah, I suppose. But look at it this way. We all had a rough time. Yeah, we so, did. Sometimes it's... It may not seem right. It may not be the right time, but sometimes you just... You need to remember what it is to feel good about something, even if it's sex. Oh no, I, I don't, I don't, I don't disagree at all. I just disagree that. Um, I, I just think that if he, uh, yeah, may, may, well, maybe he should reevaluate his approach to life. Is all I'm saying. I suppose, but remember, he's not us. No, I think that's he does, the point. He's, he's not felt. He's not felt our pain, and as much as I understand where you're coming from, I don't want to burden him with it. It's our pain. We'll bear it. Yep, and express it. Oh yes, absolutely. Just all right. I get it. I am not gonna punch him. Okay, I get it. I I, I trust you. Look, Aaron. He put and Tally puts his hand on your shoulder. I trust you. We've gone through sh- hell to this point. All right. <laughs> I don't look. I'm. We've talked about these things before, and I know you trust me, and I trust you, and I want to make that clear. All right, we're. We're mates. 
Why are you consoling me? I came out here to make sure you were okay, man. Thanks. Well, Thanks force of habit. I, I keep expecting I need to be the one that consoles people. and Well, I suppose getting back in my groove helps me. Besides, I owe it, I owe it to old Nick to, to live up to, my, to being a child of Gaia, I suppose. We all owe a lot to Nick. You maybe not least of all, so... Mm. Yeah. That man that man was more of a father to me than my father was, but well there you go. Aaron wants to say something, but the like <laughs> the whole father issue just kinda shuts his mouth for him, so you're like, Yeah, I, I'm not actually gonna talk about my dad. <laughs> I, I don't actually have much in ways of experience with positive dad experiences here, do I? <laughs> yeah, that's exactly it. <laughs> so just like oh. just silent nodding. And then it's like okay. I've had my moment. Semi is gone. Can go back inside. <laughs> yeah, but can, can, could, could we perhaps not do that and just kind of stand out here and urging the others to pick up the, to pick up the fucking pace? Mm, I suppose, but oh, go on. I need to cater to everyone in your feeling. And... Yeah, I will just stay out here. We'll keep an I eye out. I get it. Things. The chocolate was good, but really, we should not be. <laughs> yeah. Mm. In fact, the chocolate was fucking awesome. Yes, no, and and as was as was the pecan and that co- it was that coffee, all. that coffee. Oh, that was that was the buzz. That was. Mm-hmm. It was all awesome. Guess we, guess we gotta wait and see what that sketch looks like. Well, I can be patient. Let's give him time. Okay, so we go back inside to the others. Yep. While they're but... having their little heart to heart outside. I think we should start with Karen. Yeah. Yes, let's hear it. Well, while just after they leave, I also wrote this in the chat, but never mind. Just after they leave, Taryn just looks at the last remaining guy in the room, meaning Connell. Yes. Then or, or, she or smirks. Aura is going to be unhappy. Then she chuggles. Then pokes Amra's side carefully. Do you have that effect on everyone? <laughs> He um he puts his arm around her shoulder in a very friendly way, smiles at her in a way with a smile that could melt the polar ice caps, and says, yes. At that, Taren uh, actually freaks out. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Don't touch! The two guys outside. <laughs> no touchy! Finish no touchy. <laughs> oh, touchy! <laughs> <laughs> well, then, when Taryn freaks out uh, uh, and runs outside, Finn just scoops over, takes Taryn's chair. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Finna. Yeah? Why don't you try to see if your smolder can counter his? He He smiles and says, oh, it already has. It already has. So, um, all right. Um, did you have anything to add now that you've called in the cavalry? No, I don't, but I'm pretty sure the cavalry will have a lot to say when the cavalry arrives. Um, should we stay put then? That I leave that entirely up to you, although I'm pretty sure the cavalry will be extraordinarily pissed if I've called and there's nobody here to talk to. Well, it's not like spirit hunting is going anywhere. So we should probably just stay right here. He uh, he smiles again and and flicks his hair back, leans back in his seat and stretches in a very languid kind of way and nods and says, yes, by all means, please don't go anywhere, at least not for the time being. I would be so... So happy to have you around for a while longer. It's going to suck you all dry. <laughs> oh no, it's going to be the other way around. <laughs> that's that's what you think. <laughs> I, I um. Nice one. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> I, I think that's actually on that note, she will looks at, at Aura again and says. Please do note, I need her to be able to work tomorrow. Would I ever? 
Also, what is the lowest age where you're actually allowed to have the sexy in Ireland? Uh, Good question. I don't know. I think the age of consent in Ireland is 16. I'm not sure, but that's something that could be found out very quickly. Because he's on the verge of actually having hit on someone who's underage. <laughs> it's okay, she's 17. She's been sent in Ireland, it's 17. And which year is it right now? 15. Well, she was 18, so. 16. 2015. Okay. She, so, she's 17. <laughs> Tara is She's also not. a missing person, so... <laughs> yep. <laughs> so, what, what actually, like... Um, do, what what do we gain from this? Like, are we? Uh, does she manage to produce a sketch of the person who talked on the phone? The yes. She, well, Jocelyn comes back out, but it takes her. Okay. It takes about ten minutes, hmm. and she comes back with a uh, a piece of paper with a fairly detailed picture of a man who, yes, does pretty much look like Mister Average. Hmm. He's got. She's managed to to capture a very um, he he has a very um, distant look in his eyes. Actually, quite a good quite a good drawing. Hmm. I think when Aaron like looks looks into the shop and sees her returning with a piece of paper, he goes back in to have a look. Yes. And with Tally, I think he'll follow Aaron's. Yeah. So as I said, it takes about ten minutes. Hmm? And as she hands over this, this piece, you hear a, the sound of an engine mm. outside. It's, it's rather loud. It, it sounds a bit like a, um, it sounds a bit like a, uh, uh, like a Harley Davidson, uh, met a, uh, met a, um, fishing cutter and had a love child. Wow. If that is before they go inside again, also Terrence very upset she forgot her chocolate pie inside. Yeah. <laughs> so. If they hear yeah. that right before they go in, Terrence isn't going in because she has to look at it. A car arrives. Um. It is a fairly, <laughs> a fairly large, like an American 1950s sort of, of, um, uh, gas muscle, guzzler. gas guzzler muscle car thing. The door is kicked open from the inside. Out steps a waif of a girl who reaches in, grabs her bowler hat, puts it on her head, lights up the end of a cigar, grits her teeth, and storms towards the door. I mean, it's like ten steps or something, but she manages to make it look like an attack. <laughs> Can you see that from inside? <laughs> yeah, yeah you, you definitely see that from the inside. And does she, in fact, manage to make it look like an attack, or are you just being flowery? No, she, she manages to make it look like she's about to attack the door. Okay. Uh, I, I think Shiva looks at our answer. The cavalry, I assume. Oh, uh, yes. Yes. Well. Colonel Tenses. Yes. Aaron does the same. Um, Aura reaches down and takes two small pieces of the nearest piece of pie, which would be, uh, in this case, would be, uh, um, Taran's cho chocolate. Yeah. And? You cut out Joe. Can her. you try again? Uh, we have some cutting out. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, no, okay. okay. Good. I don't know why it does that, but it does from time to time. Apparently, I think it's our connection here. Okay. He reaches down, takes a, uh, a small r ball of chocolate cake in each hand, rolls them up, and pops them in his ears. <laughs> oh, God. And looks entirely satisfied with himself as the door opens and in storms... He what? This woman. Yep, he went. Yeah. Not dressed exactly like that, admittedly, but she is wearing a pair of... Oh no, it's a cosplayer! No. Run! <laughs> Very funny. She's, uh, she, she is wearing a bowler hat. She's wearing, um, uh, what are they called? Uh, flying goggles. A, uh, waistcoat. A rather, um, a rather frilly, um, Shirt, white shirt, 
black uh, leather pants and and over knee boots, and she's got a tool belt around her waist. She right. looks like. She, she she looks like she is boiling on the inside as she comes in. She looks straight at Aura, walks right through the room towards him. She doesn't even pay any attention to the rest of you. She just walks straight up to him, reaches down very slowly and deliberately, puts a hand uh, on the scruff of his t-shirt and tightens it so basically she's holding on to his shirt by one hand then she extends her mid or her her index finger on her other hand and points it directly at him and says that is the last fucking time you ever hit on me you wanking bastard And with that, I think we should take a short break. <laughs> Wouldn't that be lovely? Let's have a short break. <laughs> yes. We'll be right back with more Song Atara, ladies and gentlemen. Don't go anywhere. 